Manager Tower is a novel vision language, VL, model architecture that aggregates the insights of pre-trained unimodel experts at different levels, facilitating more comprehensive cross-modal alignment and fusion. Unlike previous two tower VL models, such as Meter and Bridge Tower, Manager Tower introduces managers in each cross-modal layer to adaptively aggregate unimodel semantic knowledge. The proposed architecture addresses the limitations of Bridge Tower including ineffective layer-by-layer -layer utilization of unimodel representations and limited scalability. Manager Tower's managers, inspired by the linear combination of layers method, can be easily integrated into any cross-modal encoders and work well with any unimodel encoders, making it scalable and flexible. The authors evaluate and analyze the performance of various manager designs on VQAV2 and Flickr 30K datasets. Manager Tower is pre-trained with 4 MVLP data and achieves superior performances on various downstream VL tasks, outperforming previous strong baselines such as Meter and Bridge Tower. Notably, it achieves 79.15% accuracy on VQAV2 test STD, 86.56% IR at 1, and 95.64% TR at 1 on Flickr 30K. The authors use the same cross-modal encoder and pre-trained unimodel encoders as Meter and BridgeTower for a fair comparison. The visual encoder, ClipVIT, reshapes each input image into a flattened patch sequence and prepends a class token to the sequence. The textual encoder, Roberta, tokenizes the input text with byte-level byte pair encoding and adds less than s greater than and less than s greater than tokens to the start and end of the sequence, respectively. The cross-modal encoder adopts the transformer encoder with the co-attention mechanism, allowing the visual part of the cross-modal encoder to attend to the textual part and vice versa. Each cross-modal layer computes the output representations of the visual and textual parts using multi-head self-attention, multi-head cross-attention, and feedforward blocks. Overall, Manager Tower offers a novel and effective approach to VL representation learning, demonstrating superior performance and scalability compared to previous two Tower VL models. The proposed Manager Tower model introduces a textual manager and a visual manager in each cross-modal layer to aggregate the insights of pre-trained unimodel experts at different levels. This approach utilizes the linear combination of layers method, which is a simple yet effective way to aggregate representations of previous layers through learned weights in each encoder layer. The calculation for the LTH visual manager involves using a learnable parameter matrix W and applying a softmax with a learnable temperature to normalize it. However, directly applying this technique, known as static aggregation of experts, say, does not bring the desired performance improvement compared to bridge tower and leads to a significant performance decrease. To address this issue, the authors propose the Static Aggregation of Unimodel Experts SAUE, manager, focusing on aggregating the insights of pre-trained unimodel experts and keeping only the output representation of the previous cross-modal layer. This modification results in a significant improvement compared to Bridge Tower and demonstrates that comprehensive and distinguishable cross-modal representations are learned as depth increases. The cross-modal similarity of SAUE decreases with depth, supporting the hypothesis that the need for unimodal semantic knowledge varies among cross-modal layers. Despite the improvements achieved by SAUE, it still has limitations, such as identical aggregation weights for unimodal expert insights between managers in different cross-modal layers and the use of the same aggregation weight for all tokens in different samples during the inference phase. These limitations led to the development of the Adaptive Aggregation of Unimodel Experts Manager, which aims to adaptively aggregate the insights of pre-trained Unimodel experts based on the input tokens and samples. This adaptive approach further improves the performance of the model, aligning with the intuition that the need for Unimodel semantic knowledge varies among tokens and samples. The Adaptive Aggregation of Unimodel Experts AAUE manager is proposed to address limitations in cross-modal fusion. It adaptively exploits different levels of unimodel semantic knowledge from pre-trained unimodel experts for different tokens in different samples. The AAUE manager's calculation involves cross-attention and softmax functions to generate adaptive aggregation weights. This is compared to static sentence-level managers and layer-by-layer exploitation in Bridge Tower. 
Experimental results on VQA V2 and Flickr 30K show that the AAUE manager outperforms other managers, especially with the cross modal fused query. Additionally, Manager Tower consistently outperforms Bridge Tower with different numbers of cross modal layers and unimodal representations, demonstrating its flexibility and effectiveness in adapting to different scenarios. This research highlights the importance of adaptive token level aggregation in improving cross modal fusion performance. In the realm of visual language processing, Manager Tower introduces a novel architecture that facilitates adaptive aggregation of multi layer unimodal semantic knowledge for comprehensive cross modal representation learning. This paper presents a comparative analysis with previous models on various downstream visual language tasks showcasing superior performances on datasets such as VQAV2, SNLIVE, NLVR2, and Flickr 30K. Manager Tower's performance surpasses many base size models pre-trained on 4M data, and even outperforms some models pre-trained on more data and or with larger size. The model's managers are designed to adaptively aggregate more accurate unimodal semantic knowledge to facilitate comprehensive cross-modal alignment and fusion in each cross-modal layer. The visualization of aggregation weights for textual and visual AAUE managers in each cross-modal layer after VLP demonstrates that the introduced managers can adaptively generate different aggregation weights for different tokens in different samples. In contrast, SAUE managers exhibit a similar progressive trend across cross-modal layers, with textual managers favoring T10 and visual managers favoring V12. This provides strong evidence that the introduced managers can adaptively aggregate unimodal semantic knowledge for comprehensive cross-modal representation learning. Comparing the performance of Bridge Tower and Manager Tower with SAUE managers, the latter achieves significant performance gains due to its ability to adapt and generate different aggregation weights for different tokens in different samples. The comparative analysis also reveals that AAUE managers can help low-layer SAUE managers rectify their management of experts, contributing to the model's superior performance. Furthermore, the visualizations of aggregation weights of SAY and AAUE managers without VLP demonstrate that the learned aggregation weights of SAY and SAUE managers are still close to the average initialization used and share a similar progressive trend across cross-modal layers. In contrast, AAUE managers generate aggregation weights that vary significantly across six unimodal experts, comparing different cross-modal layers. In conclusion, Manager Tower's novel architecture and adaptive aggregation mechanism significantly enhance the model's performance on various visual language tasks. The paper's findings suggest that the model's ability to adaptively aggregate unimodal semantic knowledge facilitates comprehensive cross-modal alignment and fusion in each cross-modal layer, leading to superior performance compared to previous models. Manager Tower is a novel vision language model architecture that introduces the concept of managers in each cross-modal layer to adaptively aggregate and fuse multi-layer pre-trained unimodal representations. This model aims to enhance cross-modal alignment and fusion in each cross-modal layer, thereby improving performance on various downstream vision language tasks. The proposed managers include Single Attention Unit Expert, SAUE, Adaptive Attention Unit Expert, AAUE, and Adaptive Average Unit Expert, AAVE, which are designed to effectively combine the insights of pre-trained unimodal experts at different levels. The AAUE manager significantly improves performance, albeit with a slightly increased computational budget. Further optimization is needed for the other types of managers, as well as analysis and optimization for better performance with lower computational costs, especially when scaling the model. The paper also discusses related work in vision language models, multilayer representation aggregation, and image recognition at scale. It highlights the importance of understanding the structure of language and the role of BERT in learning this structure. The study also references scaling up visual and vision language representation learning with noisy text supervision, deep visual semantic alignments for generating image descriptions, and large scale adversarial training for vision and language representation learning. In conclusion, Manager Tower offers a new perspective on how to better exploit multi-layer pre-trained unimodal representations for cross-modal representation learning. 
It demonstrates the feasibility of various designs of managers and their effectiveness on various downstream vision language tasks. The paper discusses the development of a unified vision language pre-training model, VLBERT, which aims to bridge the gap between vision and language tasks by learning a shared representation space. This is achieved through a novel multi-layered transformer-based architecture that integrates visual and linguistic inputs, enabling the model to perform well on various vision and vision language tasks. The authors present an extensive review of related work in vision and language pre-training models, including models such as VILT, OSCAR, and SIMVLM. They also highlight the importance of learning transferable visual linguistic representations that can be fine-tuned for different tasks. The proposed VLBERT model uses a multi-layered transformer architecture with a novel fusion layer to combine visual and linguistic inputs. It is pre-trained on a large dataset of image text pairs using a masked language modeling objective and an image text alignment objective. The authors demonstrate the effectiveness of VLBERT on several benchmarks, including visual question answering, image captioning, and visual grounding tasks. The paper also provides insights into the importance of multi-scale features and the role of different components in the model. It concludes by discussing potential future directions, such as incorporating more modalities and improving the efficiency of the model. The paper contributes to the ongoing research in vision language pre-training models, offering a unified framework that can handle various tasks efficiently. It provides a comprehensive overview of the current state-of-the-art models and techniques while introducing a novel approach that leverages multi-layer transformers for effective fusion of visual and linguistic inputs. The authors present a vision language pre-training, VLP, approach, focusing on the implementation details and fine-tuning strategies for downstream tasks. They employ two commonly used VLP objectives, masked language modeling, MLM, and image text matching, ITM. For MLM, they follow the conditional masking approach used in Uniter, randomly masking 15% of the tokens in the text token sequence while keeping the image patch sequence unchanged. The model is then trained to predict the original masked tokens given the incomplete text sequence and the complete image patch sequence. For ITM, both matched and mismatched image text pairs are fed into the model with equal probability, and the model is trained to predict whether a given image text pair is a matched, positive, or a mismatched, negative, pair. The authors use four public image caption datasets for pre-training, including conceptual captions, SBU captions, MSCOCO captions, and visual genome. The total number of unique images and image caption pairs in the combined training data is 4M and 9M, respectively. The fine-tuning strategy for downstream tasks involves standard settings and splits for all datasets. For Flickr 30K, they follow the standard Carpathy split, while for VQAV2, they follow the common practice of converting it to a classification task with 3,129 answer classes. They also use image augmentation techniques, such as random resized crop, random horizontal flip, and rand augment, to augment the images. The authors visualize the aggregation weights of textual and visual managers in each crossmodal layer showing that the manager tower architecture can provide adaptive and effective aggregation of multi-layer unimodal representations for vision language representation learning. They also experiment with different pre-trained visual and textual backbones as unimodal encoders, demonstrating the effectiveness and generalization of the manager tower architecture. The results show that manager tower significantly and consistently outperforms bridge tower on both datasets, further proving the effectiveness of the proposed architecture and managers. The authors also provide the computational budget and downstream task performance without VLP for comparison. Here is a combined summary of pages 15 and 16 of the research paper. The authors present a comprehensive analysis of their proposed manager tower architecture, which achieves significant performance improvements compared to the baseline bridge tower model. The manager tower model uses an additional computational budget to fuse the cross-modal query via cross-attention mechanism, resulting in a 0.74% and 3.1% improvement on VQAV2 and Flickr 30K, respectively. The authors also provide details on the cross-attention and concat-attention managers used in the manager tower architecture.
The cross-attention mechanism reduces the linear projection layer for value to save computational budget, while the concat attention manager broadcasts the query to the concatenated query and projects it to generate aggregation weights. Although the concat attention manager increases the number of parameters and computational cost, it does not result in significant performance gains, making it impractical and inefficient. The authors further compare their manager tower model with previous state-of-the-art models on various downstream vision language tasks. The results show that the manager tower model outperforms other models, achieving the best score on several tasks. The authors also provide a detailed comparison with previous arts, including models pre-trained on 4M public data and models pre-trained on more data and or with larger size. The results demonstrate the effectiveness and efficiency of the manager tower architecture, highlighting the importance of the cross-modal fused query via the cross-attention mechanism. The authors suggest exploring more efficient methods to fuse the cross-modal query in the future. The paper concludes by emphasizing the significance of the proposed manager tower architecture in achieving state-of-the-art performance on vision language tasks. Here is the combined summary of pages 17 and 18. The hyperparameters manager tower is configured with six layers, a hidden size of 768, and an FFN inner hidden size of 3072. The model employs 12 attention heads, a dropout ratio of 0.1, and attention dropout of 0.1. The total steps for pre-training are set to 100,000, with a batch size of 4096 and an optimizer of Adam W. The learning rate is initialized at 1E5 with a linear decay, and a weight decay of 0.01 is applied. The warm-up steps are set to 10,000, and the atom optimizer's hyperparameters are set to E equals 1E8, beta 1 equals 0.9, and beta 2 equals 0.98. The center crop augmentation is enabled, while random resized crop, random augmentation, and random horizontal flipping are disabled. The textual encoder is based on Roberta Base, and the visual encoder is Clip VITB 224 16 with a patch size of 16. The image resolution for visual language pre-training is set to 288. For fine-tuning on various downstream visual language tasks, the hyperparameters are adjusted accordingly. The total epics, batch size, optimizer, learning rate, and learning rate decay are task-specific, as shown in Table 9. The weight decay, warm-up ratio, and atom optimizer's hyperparameters are also task-dependent. The center crop augmentation is disabled, while random resized crop, random augmentation, and random horizontal flipping are enabled for all tasks. The textual and visual encoders remain the same as in pre-training, with the image resolution for fine-tuning set to 576, 384, 384, and 384 for VQAV2. SNLIVE, NLVR2, and Flickr 30K, respectively. The loss function used is either binary cross-entropy or cross-entropy, depending on the task.